This episode brought to you by GameFlip and Sample Box. Do you even vape, bro? Hello, I'm John Hank, CEO of Niantic, makers of Pokemon Go. We've had a lot of people download our game this month. We're really excited, but with it comes a lot of controversies and criticisms that we'd like to address today. You see, Niantic wasn't ready for Pokemon Go. Our first game, Ingress, made about a tenth the amount of downloads in four years that took Pokemon Go to get in a day. Huh. Okay, it's not our fault that the servers couldn't handle the millions of people that were playing Pokemon Go. I mean, no one could have ever expected that the world's most popular game would have became the world's most popular... God help us if we ever make a Mario Kart Go. It's ah. me, Mario! Now we rushed our game out so it wouldn't have to compete with Pokemon Sun Moon, which comes out in November. Of course, with it becoming the highest downloaded app in the marketplace, kind of puts the other Pokemon games to shame. Sorry, Game Freak, we made a better game. In the event of a crash, that $5 you spent on Pokeballs, Lucky Eggs, and Lures might cause some future problems. And I'm not talking about car wrecks. Now, I'm not saying all the money you spend, we invest in car insurance companies like Allstate. But you keep on playing while you drive. We won't refund any of the money that you spend because we don't have a customer service option. Did I mention that we're big fans of Steam? All our time and resources were spent trying to implement seven generations of Pokemon features into a one all-inclusive free app for both iOS and Android. Did I mention we might have rushed this a bit too early? Players get kicked off during peak hours and some people can't even catch Pokemon half the time. Apparently, our servers are down. Thank you. <sighs> for your feedback. The good thing to come out of all this is that because the game was so popular, we got to data mine everybody's Google accounts. You didn't read those terms and agreements pages. Actually, I don't know what's on those. But we got it. You need an account to log into the game, so you could get a trainer's club account, which nobody did because it took too long, or use Google, who owns you already. We had access to all your information. What are we gonna do with that info? We don't really know. What we do know is the following. Gender, age, eye color, skin tone, where you scratch yourself, social security number, blood type, credit card number, and what you just ordered off of Amazon last week. Now let's say you're missing a few chromosomes, or that you call this game Pogo. It's the same thing. And you hurt yourself while playing. Well guess what? It's not our problem. Try reading the terms and agreements page. Idiots. Now in the end, you're gonna have to answer a question. It goes beyond everything. Age, religion, race, gender, politics. It's the most important question. Something you're gonna have to live by, to stand by, to die by. Are you willing to murder for it? It's that one question we've been asking from the very beginning. What's your favorite color? But seriously, it's not like a mobile app that constantly requires you to keep your phone from going to sleep could be distracting. Just keep your eyes glued to your screen. And if you hear a honking noise, it means an Aerodactyl is nearby. Neantic, social Darwinism at its best. Thank you for watching our video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out our sponsor at zamplebox.com. And if you go to the website, make sure you use the promo code GAMINGWILDLIFE and you get 15% off your order. Now you do need to be 18 years or older to order because this is a monthly subscription of vape pen flavors. If you enjoy Pokemon Go, then you should check out GameFlip. It's a trusted marketplace for gamers. Get up to 20% off on Pokecoins for Pokemon Go with discounts on iTunes and Google Play gift cards. Use the cards to get 20% off on Pokemon Go items like incense, lucky eggs, bag upgrades, lures, and more. It's seriously one of the best deals around. You can also enter to win a $100 Google Play or iTunes gift card. Just see the description below for details. You know, it's kind of weird that within like three weeks, we create a more toxic fandom than the entire Steven Universe fan base and YouTube comments put together. I'm really proud of us guys.